In part two, we will discuss the alternate brake system, the brake temperature system, and non-normal operation. Let's begin with the alternate brake system. Recall that normal brakes are powered by hydraulic system 4 and alternate brakes by hydraulic systems 1 and 2. The hydraulic brake source transfers automatically from normal brakes to the alternate brakes powered by hydraulic system 1 and then hydraulic system 2 as pressure is lost in each system. Source select valves automatically select the alternate brake system hydraulic source. The number one or the number two hydraulic system then pressurizes the alternate brake system. Since the number one and number two brake source select valves are similar, we will discuss the operation of only system one source select valve. Hydraulic system 4 pressure controls the alternate source select valve. When hydraulic system 4 pressure is normal, the valve is held closed and the alternate brake system is not pressurized. When hydraulic system 4 pressure is low, the source select valve automatically opens. Hydraulic system 1 then pressurizes the alternate brake system. Recall auto brakes are powered only from the normal brake system. When the alternate brake system is activated, auto brakes are inoperative. A single anti-skid controller controls both the normal and alternate anti-skid valves. Recall each main gear wheel has anti-skid protection when normal brakes are operative. During alternate brake operation, anti-skid protection is provided to wheel pairs on the same axle. Question. Answer B is correct. Now let's look at the brake temperature system. Relative values of individual main wheel brake temperatures are displayed on the gear synoptic. The brake temperature system has two temperature ranges, a normal range from 0 to 4 and a high range from 5 to 9. The normal range is displayed in white. The high range is displayed in amber. The ICAS advisory message brake temperature is displayed when any brake temperature reaches the high range of 5 units or more. Let's now look at non-normal operation. Discussion will cover anti-skid faults, brake torque limiter faults, auto brake faults, and no brake source. The ICAS advisory message anti-skid is displayed when a fault is detected in the active anti-skid system. With an anti-skid fault, only partial anti-skid protection may be available and braking effectiveness may be reduced. The ICAS advisory message, anti-skid off, is displayed when there is no anti-skid protection available. The ICAS advisory message, anti-skid, is inhibited. With no anti-skid protection, braking effectiveness is reduced and may cause longer stopping distances, possible tire blowouts, 
or locked wheel conditions. When the ICAS advisory messages Annie Skid or Annie Skid Off are displayed, the auto brake system cannot be armed or disarms if a deceleration rate is already selected. The brake torque limiting system limits peak torque produced by the carbon brakes. The brake torque limiting system operates with both normal and alternate brake systems. The ICAS advisory message brake limiter is displayed when two or more brake torque limiters fail on a truck. When the ICAS advisory message brake limiter is displayed, heavy or full braking could exceed the gear structural design limit. The ICAS advisory messages Annie Skid Off and Brake Limiter are displayed if the parking brake handle is released and the parking brake valve does not open. Recall the ICAS advisory message Auto Brakes is displayed when the auto brake selector is in the disarm position. The ICAS advisory message Auto Brakes is also displayed when an auto brake system fault causes the auto brake selector to disarm. Rotating the auto brake selector to off resets the auto brake system. Rotating the auto brake selector back to a deceleration rate rearms the auto brake system if the fault no longer exists. The ICAS advisory message auto brakes is displayed if auto brakes remain armed when selected off. The ICAS advisory message auto brakes is displayed when a rejected takeoff is initiated and auto brakes have not activated. The auto brake selector remains in RTO. Recall that there is automatic brake source transfer as hydraulic pressure is lost in each system. The ICAS caution message brake source is displayed when there is no active brake source. The brake source light also illuminates. With no active brake source, the normal brake accumulator is the only source of hydraulic pressure for operating the brakes. The accumulator is designed only to set the parking brakes and will not stop the airplane.